Good day folks, welcome to Mets. Um Guys, before we start the lesson, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel, like all my videos, make sure you watch all your video, my videos, share with your families and friends. Today guys, we continue with the geometry. The geometry of straight lines, we're going to look at lines. Geometry of straight lines, we're going to look at lines and angles and the transversal which is the lines that we're going to look at. We're going to look at parallel lines and point of intersection and perpendicular. Guys, if you look at these lines here, we have line AB and line CD. And these two lines, guys, are parallel. So we can write it like this. We can say line AB is parallel. Those two lines there, we call them parallel, is parallel to what? To CD. So when you have two lines like this and you have arrows there, you have arrows like this, it means these two lines are parallel. And you have another two lines here, GH and EF. These two lines, they're parallel, you see by those arrows there. You have BD and EF, they're also parallel, and these ones. Guys, to write that lines are parallel, let's say this one, we can say GH is parallel to what? To line EF and so forth. We can say I, IH is parallel to GB. Oh, okay. Now, guys, we have two lines like that. When we have two lines like that and you have a line that cuts those two lines like this. We call this line is a what is a transversal line. Transversal line. Right? We call it as a transversal line. And any line that cuts the two parallel points, the two parallel lines, we call it as a transversal line. Transversal line. But guys, where where the transversal cuts the point where the transversal cuts the 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 two parallel lines we call these points are points of intersection intersection right we call these are points of intersection this is a point of intersection this is a point of intersection this line we call it it's a transversal right remember that guys it's very important this is the basic of this topic okay folks now we're going to look at the geometry of straight line but specifically in the geometry of straight line we're going to look at the corresponding angles now when we look at the corresponding angles what do you have to look for in the parallel lines, we see you have line A, B, and C, D are parallel. How do we see? We have those arrows there. It's a parallel line. And there's a line that cuts the, the parallel lines. It's E, H. Let's say it's E, H. This is a transversal line, as I mentioned on my previous video. And where the transversal cut each line in the parallel lines, we call that it's a point of intersection, if you remember. Now, in this point of intersection, the angles around that point are equal. They are angles um, equal to the angles in this point of intersection, right? Um, let's look at those angles. Okay, before that, the corresponding angles, guys, are angles that are equal. And uh, what do we? What do you have to look for? You look for F. I'm gonna show you how you look for F. Now, um. What I was saying, the corresponding angle, you look for F and at the angles here, this angle in this corner and this corner are corresponding angles and those angles are what? Are equal. So now, if you look here in this transversal, the corresponding are here in the transversal and between the parallel lines. Now, if you look for F here between here, if you see here's an F, Remember, this angle and this angle is equivalent, are equivalent. And here's another F. And it's an upside down F. Upside down, upside down F. Here's an F. Okay, let me write it again. Here's an F. 
this angle and this angle are equivalent we call them corresponding angles and here's the normal f do you see this f this angle and this angle out are equivalent here's a, another f this angle and this angle are equivalent if you can see here i've used the signs that are are the same so that you can see these lines are equivalent so guys when we write this we can say um, this will be the statement this will be the statement and a reason here in geometry we deal with the statement and reason we have to be reasonable in our statement okay now we said this angle and this angle are equal we'll say angle f one is equal to angle g g what angle g one what is an what is the reason we'll say it's corresponding angles equal because line a b is parallel to c d that's how you, you write your reason. And which other angles are equal there? We can say angle F2 is equal to angle G2. Here's F2 and G2. Remember, here's an F. Remember, here's an F here. This angle and this angle are equal. Same reason, guys. We said it's corresponding angles equal because line AB is parallel to CD and we can we can use this one we can say uh, angle <coughs> angle F3 is equal to angle G3 corresponding angles those are the corresponding angles hi guys let's look at more examples now let's look at this example here yeah you have two parallel lines pq and rs how do you see they're parallel you have those arrows there and the transversal tu and we're given the angle m and which is an unknown is the one that we're going to find and you are given an angle there it's 144 so we are looking for this m this unknown angle so what are we going to do there um, you need to find um, this is it we're going to use the corresponding you need to look for F here's F here in this transversal and it goes like this and this so this angle and this angle are equivalent so we can say M is equal to 144 degrees so we say it's corresponding angles equal because line PQ uh, is parallel to line rs okay now and number two this is number one and in number two we have these two lines that are parallel a b and c are parallel we have a transversal ef and we have this unknown angle here which is n and we're given this angle is 100 so there's an f there which is the corresponding angle this um f it goes like this n is equal to 100 that's why we get n is equal to 100 degrees and the reason is that it's corresponding angles equal because line a b is parallel to c d um, let's go to a third example let's go to a third example in a third example i'm going to write it here so we'll say let me use the red one um, we'll say we have the line b d and n s and they are parallel and we have a transversal EF there. So we how can we going to how we're we going to find F there? We have the F there. So F is like that, and that means Y and 160 they're equivalent. So we can say number three, Y is equal to 160. Uh, the reason it's corresponding angles equal because line 
BD is parallel to it to line AS. Now let's look at the fourth example. The fourth example here we have the parallel lines AB and CD and we have a transversal EF here. We have two unknown angles here. We have angle Y and angle X. We are given that angle that is below below x now how are we going to find x if we draw the f there we see y and x are corresponding angles but both of them are unknown so how are we going to find them so we can first find we can first find f we can first we can first find um, x because um, the x and 85 degrees are angles in a straight line so we have some little bit of calculations there we will say x plus 85 degrees equal to 180 degrees we'll say angles in a straight line right so we can say x is equal to 180 degrees minus 85 degrees um, and then it's going to be what 95 degrees so the x here um the angle here um when you add these two we find that this is 95 degrees so remember as i mentioned earlier that this angle and this angle which is y and x are corresponding angles so we can simply say now we can simply say um y is equal to x and their corresponding angles equal because line a b and c d are equivalent so y is equal to 95 degrees and that's it guys